We now return to a later season episode of Family Ties. Elise, have you noticed how puberty has changed Jennifer? Shh, keep your voice down. Jason left me. It's gonna be my ninth divorce. Hey, you know, just hanging out. Tina, give me the phone. Carol, hi, what's up? Oh my God, that's terrible. But you might not even bat an eye. What the devil? What's going on? Oh, I'm sorry, Stewie. Your Aunt Carol's gonna be staying with us for a little while, so she's gonna need your room. Who the hell do you think you are? Stop it this instant! This one's always hard. Uh, here we go. The second one's easier, cause toes. Uh, come on, fella. That's it. Ah! Well, not so good. You may have heard that my husband left me. Oh, I'm so depressed. I, I mean, it can't always be my fault, right? Uh -huh, you know, uh -huh. at first I thought what I needed was the... Uh -huh. 20 feet that way, please. Oh, it's so great to see you kids. Here, I brought you all gifts from Texas. Meg, this is a... Sorry, sweetheart. It it's just that she's my sister. No wonder her husband's all left her. Well, that's what her problem is. She has such low self-esteem that every time a man shows her the slightest glimmer of attention, she rushes into... Lois, thanks again for letting me stay here. You can't imagine how it feels to have your heart broken so many times. Aunt Carol, Mom says you'd make a great Florida whore. What is that? First house. I'm not very good at this. Hello? Well... Dot, 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 hello. Lois, aren't you going to introduce me to your handsome friend? Handsome? <laughs> it's possible that Dayton might not be such a good idea right now. Actually, Lois, I think it's exactly what I need. Hooray, it's a date! But we mustn't let the local nobleman find out, otherwise he'll assert his right of... Great! Wow, Adam, I just have to tell you, I'm, I'm having a terrific time. Me too, Carol. That was a great idea you had about walking parallel to the water. It makes for a longer walk. Oh, by the way, I should tell you I've got AIDS. What? Yeah, they're right over there waiting for me. Ready to go when you are, sir. Poor guys, they million more every night of the week for the rest of my life. Carol Yastrzemski? Oh, please let that be your last name. Will you marry me? Carol, I'm really not sure you should be rushing into another marriage right now. Well, Lois, I appreciate your input, but I'm capable of making my own decisions. Are you sure? Your brother-in-law. Brother? I don't know those other two words, but brother? I'm gonna have a brother? Well, what we're discussing is whether or not marriage is a smart move for Carol at this point in time. I was hope. Oh, no! Patch of sand! Oh! <laughs> Oh, my God, are you all right? I'm fine. Let's just keep riding bikes. Carol, I would never miss any of your Meet the Fiancé dinners. This is the tenth one. Oh, Lois. Look, Carol, I'm just saying it's a big decision. Your yeah, life is full of big decisions. Like deciding whether or not you're gonna... Got him. Oh, so you didn't tell me you were bringing Evan here. We bonded over to Red Sox one time, and now he's gotta bring it up every time I see him. How about those Red Sox, Peter? Yeah, how about them, Evan? They exist. How about last season, huh? That at a tropical fish store. It's 9.30 at night. Well, you better get going. Son of a bitch. And then there was your third husband, Doggy Daddy, but you couldn't make it work because he had that son for... Let me be happy with the man I love. Carol, if you marry him, you're just gonna get hurt again. Is that what you want? Well, no. Look at these men. Uh, I think you sh should go now, Lois. Uh, I can't. My husband took the car. No, yeah, no, I know it's late. I just need to... to Germany's most popular late-night talk show, still awake with Otto von Stad. Some weather we're having. Okay. I was recently in Munich. Did you ever notice how the... Guess I just better go call all my friends and tell them the wedding is off. Oh, hi, Maya West. Hi, Lois. I just wanted to return... Alaska? But that's so far away. And the summers are so short. Yay! Summer's here! Awesome! Best summer ever! Let's stay friends! I lost my virginity! Now you're just saying the opposite of what I say. No, I'm not. I'm saying the same as what you say. Peter! Lois! God. Allah. Look, I'm not sacrificing my sister's happiness so you can have a playmate. She and Maya West never would have made it. in her. Oh my God! Peter, I've made a terrible mistake! Well, that's what I tried to tell you, but you were stubborn as a pigeon at an ad agency. I don't I don't know. Know. Guys, guys, guys!
I'd like one ticket to Alaska, please. One way. We're too late. I'm sorry, Carol. But if it helps, you're not the first person to get a bum deal. Mr. Edison, we're going to use your invention to power the world. And Mr. Tesla, we're going to use yours in the background of... Ah, crap, why not? Because I'm working. I'm flying a plane to Alaska. Alaska? What the hell? I never even heard of this place an hour ago. Now everybody's flying there. What did you say? Quagmire is flying to Alaska? Peter, that's the plane... Um, hey, Quagmire, you know that stray cat we got in our neighborhood? The pregnant one? Yep, she's having her kittens right now. <gasps> oh, no way. Yep, making all those high-pitched meow meow noises. Hello, Alaska! Adam! Carol? Hey, you know, when it's your turn to say, I do, you should say, I do the do, and then, then we both pull out a Mountain Dew, and then, I'll, I'll, and then I do, like, a radical skateboard jump off the altar. Well, obviously, yeah. I bet you. I knew that we were meant to be together. I know I've said that before, a lot of times, and it's always blown up in my face. Giggity. But this time, it's different. I know it's gonna work. Announce you, husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Peter, I'm so happy for the both of them. Hey, I just realized. I have... Okay, Brian, I'm going to the IGA. Don't let Peter get into the cookie dough. Yeah, sure. You, you would take the magazine and you'd put it on the floor and pee on it because you're a dog and you're stupid and, and you have a weird toenail halfway up your elbow. Nice comeback. Jeez, that one was all over... Brian, can I give you money and you write me a check so I can order something from this Abercrombie and Fitch catalog? What do you want to order? Oh, wait, let me guess. Him. Really? Why would I order your ex- Because it is easy, but because it is hard. Got a lot of help down here, Neil. We have slipped the surly bonds of Earth and touched the face of God. Yeah, if you could just grab some rocks, Neil, throw them in a- <laughs> oh, 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 my God. Oh, Stewie, that is so funny. Oh, I did not see that coming. That was my thing. I'm pretty sure it was the Internet's thing. Enough time. Talking to yourself? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brian, Brian, hello! Stewie, I know you've been going back in time to embarrass me. Oh, what? what that, come on! Oh, okay, then, then where are you going now? Well, I have a... Impossible! What? Well, the return pad works by first locking onto our coordinates along the curve of the space-time continuum. But it can't. Why not? Well, the only explanation is... Can you fix that damn thing or not? Well, it's not broken, Brian. It operates according to the laws of physics. But we're outside the space-time continuum, so there are no laws of physics. Watch. I and stole a kiss in the night. Huh? Did I tell you? Yeah, that was good. We were good. Yeah, that's why it sucks that we're alone here, because if, if, we, if there were people here, they would say... Bear with you. <laughs> oh, oh, man. What? What's the joke? <laughs> oh, yes. What? What is it? Oh, you, you can't say that, <laughs> but it got said. We made it. Yeah, we made it. Okay, now... The universe's cosmic background radiation, a, a kind of echo of the Big Bang, precisely matches the energy spectrum of my return pad. What does that mean? It means my return pad's explosion. Most incredible thing I've ever heard. So wait, that, that means that I kind of created the universe too. Uh, no, 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 no. You're, you're, you're sort of the Art Garfunkel of the universe. In case I decide to make another universe later. Plutonium at the farmer's market? Yep, I'm only using organic plutonium now. Think globally, buy locally. Hey, slut, get me out of this. The other reason I come here. Okay, so here is your plutonium. I hope you kill my bitch wife with it. Whoa, whoa, where's that coming from? Uh, I'm just a little upset because she left. stopped playing with that toy, but now that I see you with it, I kind of want to play with it again. <laughs> Look at me! I'm mowing the lawn! <laughs> the 
Brian, into the time machine! Stewie, what the hell was that? Existed. Well, we have to stop him. Yes, unfortunately, Bertram took the return pad with him, so we'll only get one shot at this. Ah, here it is. Now, we'll have to travel back in time to a point shortly before, but this doesn't count as our trip to Italy. Brian, look! There's the Mona Lisa! And it's unfinished. We must be in Leonardo da Vinci's studio. Quick, someone's coming! My God, da Vinci is your ancestor. But why would Bertram go back this far to get rid of... Like Thomas Edison. Thomas, what are you doing? Experimenting. Brian, look! Listen to him, Bertram. It's true. Brian and I were trapped outside the space-time continuum, and the only way for us to get back was to overload my old return pad. The resulting explosion was the Big Bang. So if you can... <laughs> hey, Bertram, what's your favorite kind of answer of me being born? But Da Vinci is dead. Yes, but we are still here. So I must have done, or will do, something that will save the universe. If I can just figure out what that is, all goes well, the universe should be intact this time. Good luck, old friend. Hopefully I'll be leaving you a future to return to. I'm gonna miss you, Stewie. Good luck. Can I help you? So I've built a cryogenic stasis device and am placing myself inside it, leaving instructions for it to be buried in very specific coordinates in what will be future Quahog. If everything goes according to plan, I... Stewie. 